annual inflation in the U.S. rose 3.4 percent in December, a 0.3 percent rise from November and slightly higher than analysts' expectations. Inflation peaked in June 2022 at 9.1 percent and has remained under 4 percent since May. The Consumer Price Index, which measures price changes for a basket of goods and services, rose 3.9 percent year-over-year when excluding volatile food and energy prices. Over half of the increase stemmed from rising shelter costs, which rose 0.5 percent from November and 6.2 percent year-over-year. The Federal Reserve, responsible for maintaining inflation at 2 percent, has held the federal funds rate between 5.25 percent and 5.5 percent three times after 11 raises since March 2022. The Fed is expected to reduce rates this year, possibly as soon as March. A winter storm is sweeping across the country today and is poised to become a bomb cyclone, bringing blizzard conditions and flooding across much of the country's eastern half. The storm will be followed by a blast of Arctic cold air, with as much as 88% of the contiguous US expected to experience temperatures dropping below freezing by Monday. Dubbed Winter Storm Jerry, it comes days after a separate winter storm hit the central US and parts of the plains. Jerry is forecast to make its way from the Four Corners region toward the central and eastern US, with one to two feet of snow projected in portions of Michigan, Wisconsin, and Illinois. Meteorologists say temperatures in Wyoming and Montana could reach between 20 and 30 degrees below zero and potentially below 50 degrees in the northern plains. The southern plains and Midwest could see temperatures dip into the minus 20s, while the south could see temperatures in the 20s. The cold air pattern is projected to stay until at least the week of January 22. Archaeologists have discovered a constellation of ancient Amazonian structures in what is now modern-day Ecuador, according to new research published yesterday. Flourishing for roughly 1,000 years about two millennia ago, the settlements are believed to have been populated by 30,000 residents at their peak. The complex was discovered using litter, light detection and ranging, a technique in which variations in surface height are measured using airborne laser mapping. The approach allows researchers to penetrate dense forest canopies or layers of earth, revealing what lies underneath without labor-intensive fieldwork and digs. The find follows a number of similar discoveries in recent years, including a sprawling urban network in the Bolivian Amazon two years ago. New England Patriots Bill Belichick to depart after 24 seasons and six Super Bowl titles with the Patriots. Belichick has racked up 333 wins across his 29 seasons as an NFL head coach. ESPN reportedly forced to return 37 Emmy Awards for using fake names to win awards for College Game Day program. Michael Jackson biopic film set for April 2025 release. NFL postseason begins tomorrow with the wild card round. See preview and predictions. NFL's 2024 four international games to include Chicago Bears, Minnesota Vikings, and Jacksonville Jaguars in London, and the Carolina Panthers in Munich, opponents to be named. Researchers release open-source program to model the increasing density of space debris orbiting the Earth. The emerging problem of space trash. Study suggests the largest ape to ever live died off around 250,000 years ago because it failed to adapt its diet as the landscape shifted from dense forests to grasslands. Meet Gigantophithecus black eye. Paleontologists discover oldest known fossilized reptile skin, 289 million year old specimen predates dinosaurs, was from a now extinct iguana like lizard. Markets close roughly flat Thursday. S&P 500 minus 0.1%, Dow 0%, Nasdaq 0%, following higher than expected inflation data. Spot Bitcoin ETFs begin trading, see $4.6 billion in trading volume on first day. Chesapeake Energy to buy Southwestern Energy for $7.4 billion in all-stock deal. Acquisition would make Chesapeake the largest U.S. natural gas producer. Google lays off hundreds of employees in Google Assistant division as company explores integrating AI chatbots into products, company also planning to restructure its 30,000-person ad sales department.
Israel defends against charges of genocide in Gaza at the International Court of Justice, claims introduced by South Africa. US, UK lead airstrikes against Houthi rebel sites in Yemen. Jewish students sue Harvard, claiming anti-Semitism on campus violates civil rights. Closing arguments held in civil fraud trial against former President Donald Trump, proceedings held despite early morning bomb threat made at the home of Judge Arthur Ngoron. Federal aviation officials launch probe into whether Boeing followed safety protocols when securing door plugs on 737 MAX-9 models. Everything you need to know about Boeing's blown-out door plugs, visualized.